Good morning. This is Angela Brooks from AngelaBrook.com. And I wanted to let you know that you have made the word business way too hard. And in all honesty, um, it's pretty simple. It's having conversations with people. And people freak out about having conversations that they've done all their life. Here's my little, my little supporter. Um, but I had a lady send me a message that she was very sincere and she doesn't understand how to get business moving. And so I did a quick glance at her page and it looked like a sales page. It looked like every, no, not every other, every single post she made was buy my stuff. And so when you start engaging with people and you start talking to them and just being human, they're going to respond back to you. I actually made a post this morning that, um, how old were you when somebody told you, I'm <clears throat> still crouping, when somebody told you that there was a monster under your bed and if you got out of your bed during the night that the monster in the closet would get you, how old were you? And so that was somebody instilling fear to keep you in the bed. That was usually a parent or caregiver or babysitter or whatever. Somebody told you that. So who was it and how old were you when they told you weren't, that you weren't good enough? Stop and think about that because um, there was a point in time that you knew that you were good enough, that you were totally capable of building whatever. And so you get into a business and all these fears start jumping in your head and freaking you out because there's a monster under your under your desk or under your workspace and there's not so when you understand that just being human is okay being you is perfectly okay and if you told a friend hey you need to go see the movie cats and number one they hated cats and they didn't like musicals or they didn't like sitting in a dark theater they're not going to go to the movie but if you told a friend who loved cats or loved uh, musicals or enjoyed going to get popcorn at the theater, that would be me. I'll go see almost anything just for the popcorn. I'm not, I don't like blood and gut stuff, but when you tell somebody what you have to offer and it resonates with them, what are they gonna do? They're either gonna ask more questions to check it out or they're gonna say, tell me more. And I think that's where a lot of people, they're so worried about making the sale that they miss the opportunity just to connect. Cause I've got, I was looking back yesterday, I've had over 10 new customers come in this year. I have no idea where they came from or who they are. They showed up in my database. I added them to my group. They don't engage a lot, but they buy every single month. And that's okay. Because Walmart has people go in and out of the door every single day that they don't know, that they'll never engage with, that will come and shop, and some will leave without buying a thing. Some will just, call, I had a girlfriend that, I won't call her a girlfriend, had an acquaintance that I knew from work that after a 13-hour shift, she would go and walk around Walmart and just look and, and just window shop because when she got home, she couldn't go to sleep, so she would go and window shop until she felt like she was tired. She lived local, and she was window shopping, so she never bought a thing and was there for two hours. So engage, talk to people, stop trying to sell them. You're making this way too hard. Um, it gets really fun when we start generating relationships and conversations and um, people start following what you're doing and they're going, hmm, let me check this girl out. And so they'll reach out, they'll send a message, they'll go to your web page if your about page is filled out and they can find it. People aren't going to search. They're going to go to your about page on Facebook or to your bio on Instagram or wherever that there is an information space. If it's not filled out, they can't find anything else about you. And that's what I find. Number one is people don't have information available for people to even find out more about you. And if that's you, you need to go fix it right now so that they have a link and it needs to be a clickable link not to a sales page, but to an information page, because people are searching for information, not a sale on the first conversation. So it is almost Christmas. I hope things are, are wonderful in your corner. If you're a tree person, I'm not a tree person. Um, 
that you have everything all lined up and it looks gorgeous. And y'all have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow.